Good evening, I'm Rob Johnson. Erica has the night off. Police say they shot and killed a man with a knife, but the man's mother says she warned police they don't need guns. Her son needs help. You said he has a history of mental illness. Yes, he do. What's his name? James Anderson. A 911 call released to CBS2 tonight reveals the mother telling police several times her son has a mental illness. CBS2's Audrina Vegas is live at Chicago Police Headquarters with a revealing audio from this September shooting. Audrina. Rob, in these newly released report from police, an officer says he feared for his life that night, so he fired shots, killing 33-year-old James Anderson. I have a mentally flawed here, and he's been threatening me, telling me what he's gonna do. Pamela Anderson called 911 about her son James. If they come, they're gonna take him to North Region Hospital, and his doctor said he need to get to Loretta. That's the only way they could pick him up and take him back to their mental hospital. When asked if he had a weapon, you know the box cutters, what you open up a box with? Yes, but does he have it? It's in his pocket, but he's not going to use it. You know, he don't have to come in with no guns and nothing. They just need to get him out of here. The call went out to officers. Pamela Anderson said her son, James Anderson, 34 years old, has a history of mental illness. He threatened her. He has a box cutter in his pocket. Minutes later, shot fired by police, one down. We got a male black in here, uh, shot by the police a couple times. Police reports say an officer fired five shots, hitting Anderson in the chest, both arms, and his right leg. The police just killed um, this lady's son on Iowa and um, Central Park, and she just fell out. Police say Anderson lunged at officers with a knife-like object in his hand. Officers say they tried to subdue him with a taser, but he continued to come toward them in a threatening manner. And I begged him while they were shooting, stop. He don't have nothing. He didn't come out their room with no box cutter. His mom talked to us the day after the shooting. I wanted help for him, not to be burying him. Pamela Anderson has since filed a wrongful death lawsuit. The Independent Police Review Authority is investigating this shooting. Live at police headquarters, Audrina Vegas, CBS 2 News. Rob. Okay, Audrina, thank you.